I have a dream. I want to become a fashion designer when I grow up. Is it possible that sweatshops are actually good? Yes, horrible. Operations inside re-education camps of images taken during police drills. This enormous, rapacious industry that is generating so much profit for a handful of people, why is it that it is unable to support millions of its workers properly? You know, we are actually profiting from their um, need to work, to use them as slaves. Retailers don't go to places like Bangladesh for any other reason except they can get the cheapest labour possible. The well, state media in Bangladesh say an eight-storey building has collapsed near the capital of Dhaka, killing more than 70 people. <laughs> To control, to break the back of um, entire ethnic groups. More than 10 million transactions in the first Our four hours of the frenzy. Spending money we don't have on things we don't need. You cannot fool us and exploit our human resources, exploit our workers. The workers will continue to rise up. It's imperative that we change agriculture. It's imperative if we're talking about the long-term sustainability and well-being of our lives on this planet and our children's lives on the planet that we have to change. It needed to stop treating people like things. It needed to stop treating people in ways that were just about profit. This is the beginning of a turning point, not just for you know, a responsible way of doing fashion, but for a new way of doing capitalism, for a new way of doing economics. I'm, I'm sure that we, we will see a significant change over the next 10 years. Um, whether it's in time or not is another question. What we need to do is change the way those companies operate. The circumstances of my life makes it an absolute miracle that I'm alive today and connecting with you Stockholm Fashion Week. My name is Nasreen Sheikh. I'm the survivor of modern day slavery. I escape child labor, forced marriage and extreme poverty. I come from a small rural village on the border of India and Nepal. In my village, Mostly the children are born on the floor of their family homes with no electricity, no car, and no hospital, and not even a white towels. As I was growing up, I ended up as a child laborer in a textile factory at the age of nine or 10 year old. I was working, I was forced to work. 
12 to 15 hours a day stitching same thing over and over and over almost like thousand times and that's when I felt like I was not a human I was a machine and my little fingers were working as machine and as fast as possible because I knew if I don't finish the quota on time I will not get paid at all and to keep up with that work we had to start working from morning 6 a.m. to all the way to midnight to finish those pile of clothes on time and that's when I would broke into tears and I had no one to talk to so I would talk to the clothes that I was making and I would say this Whoever is going to wear these clothes, I hope you can feel me. I hope you can feel, feel my bloods, my tears, and my suffering. So if you do not know where your clothes come from and who makes it for you, you might be consuming that suffering right now. And I want to share with you that you have the opportunities right now to change that. And, and ask questions and support ethical, sustainable and fair trade brands and small businesses. When you go to these shopping malls, try to read a label and ask questions for their supply chain. Because as a human, you have the power to be curious and to know what you are consuming. And you deserve to consume love, kindness and care. And this is what Stockholm Fashion Week represents. And if you would like to be a part of in eradicating modern day slavery, I invite you to become a part of Empowerment Collective organization that is working in the ground with the most underserved community to end modern day slavery in Nepal and India. Thank you for having me.
dream. I wanted to become a fashion designer when I grow up. I'm a grown up now. I'm a fashion designer. And words cannot describe how grateful I am that all of you guys are here today. Many of you even flew from other side of the globe, from US, from Tallinn, from Germany, just to be here. The reason why I kindly ask all of you to wear white today is because I'm not only inviting you to come for a fashion show, I am inviting you also to come together, regardless of our differences, our backgrounds, our histories, to just be united as one. We are that blank sheet of paper, that white paper, that turning page, where we can together write a new future, where fashion can continue to flourish, but no longer on the cost of our environment and human lives. Who is with me? So we'd love to welcome my whole team on the show where is Francesca. What do I have, Francesca? Where is she? Thank you. This woman has been... <laughs> Her beautiful way gallery is outside of exhibition, so after this is a mingle. We'd love to meet all of you and chat with all of you. You can also enjoy the show. And Old Burr is here too with the amazing alcohol-free wine with the beautiful stories that you guys can talk about and thank you really like to be here this this is a new beginning thank you and thank you to kevin for making the video and human rights activists and organization from all around the world who came together to do this with me i couldn't have done it without my amazing girls and the whole fabulous team thank you so much show that I went we did for a dedicate for human rights it went viral it was me and we were seven, 17 girls we had nothing we just had a uh, video cameras we recorded for on our own and didn't have any PR team nothing but it went viral worldwide and after that I won Fabrico Life Award and because of that I also hosted a competition um, in, um, encouraging youth fashion youth from all around the world to uh, produce fashion in a sustainable way. And here's my winners, Alafi, who flew all the way from Germany. And here's the, the beautiful thing about her is that when I talked to, about her for time, she is so humble. She said, I don't know how to make a dress. And one year after, she, she's here with her own dress that she didn't know she could make. So nothing is impossible. Thank you. So please mingle and enjoy the art and everything. Thank you so much. Thank you.